happening today, an exciting evening of lights, camera, and action. The Poplar Institute for Film is rolling out the red carpet for a fundraiser night. For 200 bucks, you and seven friends can get a table and a bottle of champagne. Speaking our language. Yes. <laughs> there will be local beer tastings, games, a DJ, and even a complimentary drink special. It all starts at 5 tonight at the German Cultural Society along Jefferson Avenue. And you can even sign up to star as an extra. Wait, this is my <gasps> moment. This is my moment. Yeah. Star as an extra <laughs> in their latest project. And right now, we're joined by a very special guest this morning. Yep, that's right. Hello. Thank Mr. you. Good morning. Of course, Mr. Merlin Bell, CEO of the Poplar Institute, is here to discuss tonight's event. Merlin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you You're for our me. first guest indoors in a while. Yes, on today's absolutely. On Tainted Lewis Weekend Edition. So, how are you doing this morning? Well, I, I, I'm breaking records. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm doing really well. Um, but, yeah, it's so great to be here. Thank you for yeah, having me. Of course. So, first off, tell us what the Poplar Institute is about. How are you found it? What's your mission? So we were founded during the pandemic and our mission initially was to, you know, be a diverse organization, but then it kind of morphed into we amplify diverse voices through the development, promotion and marketing of independent film and media projects. Mm. So uh, we use 2020 as a launch pad, as a way to kind of strategically build things up and kind of build that foundation that would later ripple to where we're at now. It's amazing. And Merlin, how long have you been doing this? And then how have you seen the Institute change over the years? Wow. So uh, since 2020 for the last four years. Wow. Yes. That's and, amazing. Yes. And any changes you've seen and noticed? Um, yes. Yeah. So uh, initially we started out uh, in Indianapolis. And then uh, I'm initially from here. I'm a second generation St. Louis and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and you know, from the Penrose area neighborhood, but also North County. And I wanted to really be a change agent here in my uh, region, in my hometown, because that I wanted to lay the roots down. And that's part of the reason why we wanted to call it Poplar is because building that foundation, building deep roots in the community, getting that community support, um, building a community filmmaking network uh, yeah. that will reverberate for years to come. Yeah, and that's big for this region too. So what are some of the projects that you're working on right now, Merlin? Yes, yeah, so uh, several. Uh, we've been doing a couple with the PIF Film Festival support, uh, having uh, four films in the process. And throughout those four films, we have generated more than 13 um, film festival selection wow. laurels. Wow. Uh, the biggest film project that we have is the Filmmaker in Residence, which is uh, by Mr. Philip Irving. He has, he's the writer director of the film, Love Thy Neighbor, which is a father and son relationship. Awesome. And you kind of see them uh, reverberate throughout the film because the son is a uh, struggling college musician who is struggling with his sexuality. The father is a, pastor who's struggling to save his dying church. So they're both wow. struggling in different ways. And so seeing how that clashes, is kind of. Yeah. That sounds so mer amazing. Merzen, I was about to infuse your name with amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes, you know. <laughs> you are. Mercedes yes. amazing. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And if you'd like to have a fun time tonight while supporting the Poplar Institute, the fundraiser runs from five to nine at the German Cultural Center. Yeah.